All right, y'all, we are at Shim Creek. We done dumped the kayaks out at the boat launch. You can see how busy it is. I'm hoping these are all people that went out of Shim Creek. Um, let's see, I'm off to a little better start this morning. Got hat, neck gator, got sunblock on, got sunblock with us. All right, y'all. This is the famous Shim Creek here in South Carolina. This is probably the least busiest you will ever see it. There's a creek up at the front of it. Smaller creek. Morning. Morning. Heading out or you already been out? Yeah, I'm just waiting on my people to show up. Sounds good, man. That's the Shim Creek Inn. We, gonna, we tried to stay there last night, but it's still not open because of the quarantine. It don't open back up till May 5th. And then there's also several bars on Shim Creek and restaurants that are supposedly really good. We tried a couple of restaurants. They're not my favorite. I'm not saying they're not good. Just saying, if I come down here, we have our spots we like to go to, and the ones on Shim Creek are not it, at least for us. Still a lot of shrimp boats leave out of Shrimp Creek. Shrimp Creek. Shim Creek. I think there's one of them you can actually like pay and they'll take you out and go shrimping and all that stuff. That's a pretty big boat. I think it's up here. I will show it to you in a minute. The boat I was looking for, y'all, I think is normally docked right here. Show you. Yeah, I'm good. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Nice gentleman on that boat. Just offered us some bait. It's awful nice of him. Winds of fortune. The boat looks like it could use some maintenance, man. All right, everybody. There's a big long pier right here. It's the Shim Creek Park Pier. There's bathrooms. There's a lot of parking it's a nice place you could come out here and fish this pier for free me and my boys we've been two or three times to this pier and never caught a fish off of it i've seen people catch fish off of it but i never have and all the fish i've seen people catch off this pier have been small now i'm not saying there's not big fish out there or not saying you can't catch big fish off this pier but I think it gets overfished and then you got a lot of kayak tours and you know, just back up in the shim creek where we just come from you can rent kayaks and uh everybody comes this direction so it's really busy plus if you are in a kayak and you see people up here fishing keep your kayak out away from them there's a bunch of videos where people just are running over their lines and everything else, which is just a butt thing to do. So try to do better than that if you're out here in your kayak. But anyways, it is a nice pier. It's got a covered area, gets you out of the sun. It's got a fish cleaning table up on it. Um, like I say, it's nice. Come out here and you can't catch crab. 
I do know you can do that. You can catch a good many crab off this pier. That's another reason I don't like fishing it, because your bait you put out, it's going to get crabbed out here. And right here is the opening to the Charleston Harbor, which I doubt we will be going out in. Um, one, I don't want to get ran over. Two, my wife is scared of the deep water out there, which I understand I am too. But this is where we're going to make our turn and head up into this creek and hope for the best. Like I said, the tide is kind of dead. I think we're at maximum high, pretty close to it. The paddle back is going to be interesting because the current is going to be going out, coming against us. So. All right, we're getting ready to leave Shim Creek, y'all. This is the Shim Creek if we are used to seeing, and the reason we don't come here much is it is getting busy. I mean, real busy. So, there's boats everywhere. So even us in the kayaks are gonna have trouble getting out because the boat landing is only two ramps if using the public one. I'm gonna cut you back off. Like I said, you can see there's boats everywhere. People launching, people wanting out, all kinds of stuff. We will hit you at the next spot. <laughs> 